live from a corner of Austin, where Brian does not ask marketing questions to 12-year-olds, it's still going to be a great night. Now, get ready for fun, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Hi, hi everybody, uh, it's your old pals Justin Robert Young and Brian Brushwood right before we start the show, huh? Yeah man, I, I'm glad we took this moment to, because we have a big announcement. If you are in Central Texas. Or willing to fly to Central, Central Texas. Texas. Then we have, for the first time ever, a live great night show. And it happens on Friday, June 30th at the Sound Space at Captain Quack's used to be in called, South Austin. Used to be called Captain Quack and Bushes. It's a, a, a historic venue. We get to poof form there. We're going to poof form. Oh, Oh, we gonna poo form, my friend. <laughs> we gonna poo form all night long, guys. We have never, ever, ever in the history of this program done a show like this. We are an actual act, actually booked with actual tickets at this venue. This is not a convention. This is not just going to be an hour. We are going to have a full night of entertainment. We are still figuring it out. There are special guests that are coming. It turns out there might be a little uh, Bryce trivia. Ooh. That will happen Ooh. that night. Uh, please, we've never done some shit like this on a weekend. We've never done it on a Friday night. We're going to rock this venue. The way that you go get tickets is going to Gigstan, G-I-G-S-T-A-N. Just search for Great Night, find the app, find it online, buy tickets. We need to blow this fucker out. I guarantee you this venue is amazing. We are really excited to see you all there. But Not the only tickets have to be expensive, right? Like, wait, wait, no, it's it's 22 bucks. Come on. And 50 cents. Come on. What are you going to cry? You have $50 from Justin that you're about to take in the future. <laughs> well, I have $60, but... Uh. Okay, all right. Spoilers. So, two tickets going to be given <laughs> away for free, courtesy of Bryce. <laughs> In That's the month of June. Thank you very much. Uh, thank Gig you to Stan yeah. is the app. Yes, thank you to our friends at Gigstan. Uh, uh, they are helping us put this on. Again, gigstan.com is where you go. Get it online. Get your app. You can buy it right there. June 30th wow. in South Austin. That is a Friday night, friends. The sound space at Captain Quacks. Guys, Dude, uh, we, this we, thing is going to be a fucking freak show it's going to be awesome yep uh look we're not riding the coattails of any uh, uh, comic cons dragon cons uh, comic nope. cons connie connie commons commas co commie cons co communist cons there's no communists <laughs> or cons or con yeah, guess, well yeah, yeah. well we have uh, the world's maybe greatest what? But he's the world's greatest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, gig stand. Look up. Great night. It's going to be an incredible night. June 30th. Told you that's when it was going to be. Ask gig stand. Bryce for Go. a free ticket. I'm not used to that energy. <laughs> <laughs> I need a cigarette. <laughs> it's good. It's good. You're back. I'm happy. I'm You're back. Happy. Bryce, what's the first topic? Yeah, okay, our first topic. <laughs> Schwood, watch the show! Justin, I believe, mentioned four times in the last hour and a half, you got a weird energy, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> Is everything all right? Uh, mostly it's because uh, you do, <laughs> and it's undeniable. It's and I know, I mean, like, it's, I don't know if it's, like, uh, available to everybody, right? But we know, we've known each other for a really, really long time. We've yeah. worked in, like close quarters far away like there is an undeniable element of like me and you working together where like i i know if something's kind of fucked up you often know if if something's kind of off for me uh so i know that there is just there is a 
a very coiled, I, I would just say an intense energy. I, I don't really know what the read is on it, but we're going to figure it out here tonight. Yeah, I, I would say that it's um, 50% uh, confusion. Like, like for example, like a, that, that, that two weeks ago, I was on the West Coast, and we all agreed, hey, wouldn't it be great if Bonnie hosted instead of your... And that, and that was the thing, and this is kind of getting in, in, into the behind the scenes into the But like... We, ha- we were out there for Maine's surprise birthday party. Brian was like, hey, you want to know what? I-, I didn't really know what my obligations were until I got here. I now have officially wrapped up all of my obligations. Uh, what if Penny comes out and we spend time out there? And I was in the car while this conversation was going on with you and Bonnie. And it was like, all right, well, when do you come back? Trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. And I'm like, hey, don't worry about the show. Like, cause in my mind, I was also like, you guys were nice enough to do a show when I went to go take care of my friend, Rachel, because she had a, a personal uh, situation. And so I'm like, Hey, like, as far as I'm concerned, we already got one in the bank of, of everybody took care of Justin. This is an, an amazing opportunity for you and Penny to have some, have a good time. It seemed like a, like, like an awesome Wholesome transa- uh, transaction. Well, and this is the part that I was most elated about. Oh my goodness, it was magical. It was incredible because instead of flying home on Saturday morning, as, as yep. you and Ashley did, uh, I stayed, and instead Penny flew out on Saturday morning, and and so uh, I, I took her around. I showed her beautiful near the Oakland airport area. <laughs> I explained economics to yeah, her uh-huh. and then we went through Redwoods and then did, we did you, go to, did you go to Merchants? Uh, I, I, wait, <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is, but it, I, I, I was, suspect I uh, already uh, get the joke. Uh, fun, fun story. Uh, Brian texts me and he goes, uh, Jesus, is there any bar in Oakland open before 11? And I was either... 50% proud and 50% ashamed that my brain immediately typed the bar that I knew was open before 11 o'clock. In they Oakland. were cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, Merchants fucking rules. Yeah, so, uh, uh, no, we did not go there. Uh, instead, we uh, drove through uh, what appeared to be a warland and then uh, uh, went through the Redwoods and ended up at Andrew's place. And we spent the next, like, four days just like, uh, oh, my goodness, like, of all the jobs to have, entertaining your 19 year old daughter chef's kiss we yeah. went to we went to the disney family museum we, we went bowling rules yes and, I, I'm, I'm so glad that you went there because i have always bigged up that museum as being like an, a, a must see it's one of my favorite museums uh there's definitely at least one circle that walt disney drew that involves walt in the oh god the, that's that's <laughs> where if, if, if i if i if i had known that that was there brian <laughs> brian is in a particular graph phase I, I have I've been around him lately. You're you're a graph guy <laughs> now, but, I am, yeah. but like specifically now, you are in a very big graph phase where you just constantly want to have diagrams about this, that, and the other. And there was a Walt Disney diagram of like how every Disney movie gets made, and it's like a hey, one thing to one thing, who owns what, blah, 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 and all I get is an out-of-context picture of just this gigantic Disney circle, and I'm like, this man is in heaven. <laughs> this man <laughs> is living his best life. Well, and so so we do that, and we, then we head back, and then the next day, we're going to go, we don't even know what we're going to do. We end up going to Fisherman's Wharf, and we, uh, uh, we go to the Penny Arcade, where, oh boy, are they still making so much money on the 1906 earthquake of, uh, of uh, San Francisco? Yeah. Which I thought was really perverse. Flash- their slogan is, what's shaking? <laughs> Flash forward <laughs> to like seven hours later, we're at the Natural Science Museum paying money to be in a room that shakes as though yeah. we're in the 1906 <laughs> earthquake. I'm like, oh. still making money on it. Oh, okay, yeah. all right, here we Cash go. in. Uh, but we uh, we did the Hall of Mirrors and all, uh, we saw a street performance and and apparently the street performance architecture is exactly the same in San Francisco on the Fisherman's Wharf as it is in New York City. In New York City, they say uh, they have a bunch of people line up, hunch over, and somebody runs and flips over them and says, "Now you can tell everyone you went to New York City and got jumped by a black man." In yeah. San Francisco, same thing. 
Now you can tell everybody you got jumped by an Asian. There we go. <laughs> Same thing. Yeah. Uh, Look uh, up the demographics. It, it was great. And then uh, we uh, we watched a bunch of movies. Then we went to the Muir Woods mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, got some good photos there. Uh, it was just an absolute delight. I felt perfectly entitled. My favorite part was Tuesday night when we all agreed I would not be there. And I would just, I sat at a bar and I watched our show. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bonnie did a wonderful job. Amazing. All were amazing. amazing. It was so yep. much fun. I, I watched the entire thing and I, I, I was texting notes left and yep. right. Like, oh my God, this is so good. That way. One week later, I get home. Yeah. Uh, Monday night, I do something that I've never done before, which is be halfway through a podcast, stand up and say, I have to leave now because of biology and walk off set and then proceed to vomit for three hours, four hours, five hours, six hours, seven hours. Could have been worse. Go on. You could have uh, fainted taking a shit, gone to the hospital, and no one will ever forget it for the rest of your life. Could have been worse. I mean, <laughs> but who, who did that happen? Who, who? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Go on, Brian. But the important thing... That wasn't I'm anyone. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's June. Go ahead. <laughs> Apologies. Unlike the first time, Where's the my second wallet? time, the second time, <laughs> the, the second time, I, I felt like I had not earned it. I felt like I was... Give him that. Just <laughs> 10. Why, why 10? It's why June. only 10? It's June. Only okay. 10, Yeah, huh? you're right. Because he knows he's going to hit it a couple times. He's going to hit it a couple times. <laughs> let's, yeah. just, let's just prepay. <laughs> I'll tell you what. You know, let's just, I'll, let's I'll, just prepay. I'll just hold on to that. Just a 50 yeah. spot. No? Okay. Just hand it to Bryce. <laughs> Bryce oh. Live. <laughs> I'm over here. I'm over right over here. Just in case anyone... I'm over in this corner of the show. I'm an ally. Go ahead. <laughs> I was sick all night Monday, and then Tuesday is is like that second day where technically technically you have those dumb thoughts like, well, I'm not actively vomiting. Surely I could do the show, but I might be infectious. Oh, I don't know. And I'm thinking the dumbest shit ever. Like, what if I'm in behind that window over there and I have a... <laughs> microphone and i'm just out so of you are, infectious yeah. range and, and 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 to set the scene from from my perspective i have really not heard from you since you got back into town and right. I, I just assume that you're taking care of stuff like like ain't, ain't no big uh, uh deal and then eventually i just text you with a like hey man what's going on on tuesday <laughs> i don't get anything back for a while and then about Two hours before the show, that was I get I get the gigantic block of text. That's and, when it was this, called for me. Yeah, and and this and this is uh, uh, what what happened. I assume before that, you had a conversation with Bonnie about exactly what was and was not allowed for sick Brian. Right, like 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 I definitely was trying to figure out a way to be not contagious outside, but also on camera so I, we could be here live because we, we're trying not to ever do the live remote thing again. We're trying to be if we here could, in person. If we can. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like I'm going to heroic efforts on all that. And then uh, one at a time, every single member of the team says, or just take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> and then now that one did not feel good. I still, I, I have no idea how that show went and, and it did not feel good that, uh, I felt so like you, I was you, overextended. you felt bad yeah. that you were missing the show because to be fair in, in, in the 15, 15 years, years is quite a stretch. We've been pretty good. I, I, I don't think yet. Yeah, either of us have taken a sick day on a Tuesday in 15 years. When I had COVID, I did. Yeah. That's the only time. COVID. We still did the show. But we, but, but yeah, but we, but yeah, but we did the show. Correct. Because but, we were doing it But remote. two weeks in the yeah. row. So there have been times that we've taken a little vacation. There have been times that we've been sick. Yes. But having them back to back, ooh, I was not feeling good that about was it. Not, that was not uh, and that's, uh, that's normal. Sort of, that's sort of the weird, guilty energy that I'm putting out right now. Is is like, how can we, How can we exercise it? Because I think from from our point of view, we were very happy to not only be there for you to have this moment with your daughter, but I think we were also very, very happy to be here for you when you were sick. So we we are welcoming you back as 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 as, as a conquering hero. So what we want is uh, uh, whatever whatever this 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 pent up uh, uh, situation to kind of dissipate. How can we help, Bryce? 
please look up a very slow hip hop beat. Because <laughs> sure. I feel like the only way to really cleanse the air yes. is if all three of you were to slowly freestyle rap about it, about how it's okay and I shouldn't worry about it. I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh, but I, I would say. I, 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 I did not realize that deflection had therapeutic properties. <laughs> He signed us all up for it. But if that's the case, <laughs> Bryce. you want us to work harder. <laughs> Apparently, we did not work hard enough for I mean, the past no. two weeks. I mean, just, we need to now work even harder in front of you. That's fine. I, 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 uh, themes of, of I shouldn't fine. feel guilty. That's fine. Yes. It's yes. okay. No, no, no. no. You, you, want, you want us to demonstrate through our pure artistic souls in the chat that there. we don't have any harboring resentment for in you. In the chat room, they're saying, and Brian is back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Okay. Yeah. Ladies All and right. Gentlemen. Here we go. I'll start off. Okay. <laughs> Yo. Yo. I miss Brian. I miss him bad. I remember when Brian was on the phone He said, yo, you gonna have to do the show alone I said, no, I'm gonna have Bryce and Brett And I know that we gonna represent the set And then we did one show, and it was great Bonnie was here, she is Brian's mate And then we had to do another show And Brian was sick didn't that blow? But Darren showed up and he told us stories about camping or whatever shit he's into. I'm not saying that last week was not as good as the week before, but I guess that's what I'm saying, Brett. Hey. Hey, Brian. What? Brian, it's okay that you weren't here. Because we hold you so dear, Aww. yeah. Aww. You were Brian. We are not. We the not. show was different. What? But now you're back, yeah. We love you, Brian. That didn't rhyme at all. You That's don't get to rap. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, right, Bryce. <laughs> notes from Brian. He's looking his gift horse in a mouth. <laughs> and I think it's really, really uncouth. It rhymes on paper. And everybody says he's a little funny because he likes to rap. What is he, Doug Funny? <laughs> oh! Killer Tofu! And another one. Ah. <sighs> Now Brian's turn. <laughs> bring, bring it home, Brian. He's back. Waking up from a dream. I just thought I was about to cream, but it wasn't cream. It was cream crop vomiting. Everyone, let's all say Vomitron. That's right. He's our favorite Tron villain, Vomitron. He is straight illin' because he vomits on everyone, you see? Please don't make me laugh, you see? I'm trying to express that I love my appreciation for you all of y'all's motherfucking dedication. I'm a white man who can't rap. Are you feeling better? Much. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like we purged. <laughs> uh, Bryce, next topic. Oh. Our next topic. Uh, <laughs> Justin Trashman Young. <laughs> what, 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 what's going on with this trash man? What, what, what's up with this trash man? I don't. I got a problem. What? With my trash. With the tra uh, trash is, is. Are they trying to fuck with you? Maybe I don't know. I, I I honestly don't know what the fuck is going on. So I have I have two problems with my trash. Number one, my recycling. Do you know what is and is not allowed in your recycling? I know that at my house they do the fake recycling. And by the way, if you're not hip to it, it is fake recycling. If you are allowed to throw bags full of trash in your recycling, it is not real recycling. It just ends up going to China. Here at the property. They do bagless, which means you have to sort and clean and all of that stuff. And if they judge you, 
They're gonna they're gonna take away your rights to that recycling. That's possibly okay. real recycling. So I don't know what the fuck is real and what's not. All right, I'm not I'm not here to say that that it is real or 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 fake. All I know is this: I've been led to believe that I could put styrofoam in mm. my recycling. That is something that I have been led to believe. Now there had been no reason why I would be not led to believe that. I brought it, I brought styrofoam to the Austin Recycling Center, and they had a specific place for styrofoam recycling. I'd put it in my uh, uh, thing before, and it had gone away. Here's the problem: I had a full, and I had one of them jumbo motherfucker like recycling things. Ooh, mm. I filled that thing. All the way up, and at the very top, just as we had some, some styrofoam that was sitting in the garage forever, I threw that on top. Guess what? Two weeks ago, I come back out, my compost is gone, my trash is gone, which, by the way, I've already subdivided the shit I want out of my house into three bins. Now we have arcane rules on what we should and should not do for the environment in the recycling bin. And I need to memorize this like it's my own religion so I can make sure that they don't have to sort it. God forbid the recycling people have to sort it on their end. All right? I get a notice. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, sorry. Paper? Sorry. Printed paper notice? Printed you, paper notice. You got uh, put on blast. This is why none of your recycling got taken. They just leave a gigantic full fucking recycling thing because I had two pieces of styrofoam at the top. They didn't just chuck the styrofoam in their pockets. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck they're going to do. Throw it on my lawn. Take the rest of my shit that is there in the bin. Is that make me and am I, am I the bad? Am I a bad person? How the fuck am I supposed to know? Were we born with that information? Hey, Justin. Did I learn it in school? Do you, does your... Does your trash can have like those stickers on it that tell you what you can and cannot put in them? I mean, oh dear, oh, 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 like, like, oh dear, oh, 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 oh dear. Who's who's reading these things? Oh, oh dear. Who's yeah. going to be honest, stickers? Bryce? Bryce? Yeah. I actually wish I could tell you a definitive answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not here to tell you that there isn't a sticker on top of the lid. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I am just here to tell you I have not processed it <laughs> mentally. So I don't know whether or not it's been worn off because, like, that, that bin mm -hmm. has been there forever. Or uh, I just have totally not looked at it the entire time. All I know is that I've, every once in a while, thrown a little bit of styrofoam in there to get rid of it. And... It has gone out, and I've never gotten a nasty gram saying, here's why you... Because uh, it's once every two weeks, by the way, recycling. Mm. So I have to sit with a full fucking recycling thing for another week. And that gets me to this point! Oh, yeah. no. What happened Bulk now? fucking pickup. Bulk, Bulk pickup. pickup. Sure. Yeah. They send out a flyer a month ahead of time. Bulk pickup's coming up. Get her, better get all your shit. If you want some shit that you want to get the fuck out of your house, then you better get it ready. Throw it out there on your curb June 12th. June 12th. And they got all these things. On one side, it goes, oh, if you have tires or paints or electronics. And for electronics, they have three things. Okay. Batteries. A television. Mm -hmm. A stove. That's not an electronic. And a refrigerator. Not an electronic. That's what they have represented for electronic. They got okay. chips in them. So I got a printer that annoyed the shit out of me and is broke. And I want the fuck out of my house. It's been sitting in my office for a while. So I'm like, thank God. Bulk pickup. I don't got to worry about doing something with this. So we go, we throw a TV out there. There's some old gardening shit that we, th we throw out there. And then, like fucking Fred Flintstone dropping Dino the dinosaur outside of my house, I chuck my printer onto the lawn. Day goes by. Apparently somebody comes by and picks it up. The printer's not there. The printer's still there. Printer was not taken. Not taken! Apparently, somewhere between TV, fine. If it was a refrigerator, it would have been taken. 
If it was a stove, it would have been taken. But the, uh, and by the way, they took the cord to the printer. <laughs> they took the power cord to the printer. <laughs> That's pretty They good. just did not take the fucking printer. How big a printer are we talking? Like a big printer? Like an Epson, uh, 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 ah, see, that's your problem. It's too small because everybody knows they get you, they get you with the printer and then they fuck you on the ink. Well, I mean, some people, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, Even the are they bringing it to that. Antiques Roadshow? Are they flipping it at an office depot? Yep. I don't want I think Good, go do it. I'm saying via Condios, take my shit and fucking do something with it. Don't leave it on my goddamn lawn. So, you want to know what I did? I threw it right in my fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> and so we're going to find out whether or not they take my printer fucking with my trash. I'm going to bury it under all of my other trash. So in their crazy machine, they're going to go meep, 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 and they're going to throw it all back there and none will be the wiser. And my printer will get the fuck out of here and it won't be because I did it where it was supposed to go with bulk pickup. I'm going to gum up the entire goddamn trash works of the city of Austin and it will be my revenge. My revenge on a system that failed me. That failed me, Justin Robert Young. I, 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 at some point, I just stopped wanting to make a joke and started wanting to sign up for your newsletter. <laughs> I mean, like, I, 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 I didn't know how this was going to be received because, like, I'm so angry about this. I am so fucking infuriated well, by it, the fact that they didn't just throw the goddamn uh, 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 styrofoam on the lawn and dump the rest of it. Like, instead, they took the extra time. <laughs> To write a fuck you, you can't, your your recycling's not welcome here, dickhead uh, letter. Which, 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 by the way, you pay money for recycling, not for the actual recycling, but for the cleansing of your soul, speaking about Catholic indulgences, so that you could Let's feel, not even get into that. Right? Let's not like, even. Like, don't make me fucking pay John Stossel to come down here. It doesn't here. matter. Yeah, exactly. Man, a Price. lot of people say that All right. the city of Austin can go fuck itself. Just right, so Robert Young. So upset. just, just I just want to be clear, right? So yeah. what you're suggesting the recycling people do is take a look at your trash and litter it. Mm -hmm. If it means getting the rest of the shit out of my bin that only gets emptied once every two weeks, then sure, I, I would have taken that same note on the the uh, uh, the styrofoam in my yard. That would have been a little insulting, but at least it wouldn't have fucked me for two weeks where now I got to find another auxiliary station or I got to go broker a barter deal with one of my neighbors to be like, hey, here's how many cans I produce in a weekend. Uh, uh, I need to throw it in your bin because my bin is full. Question. How much hate money do you have to spend? I just paid Bryce sixty. Yeah, do you want the sixty bucks back? <laughs> All right, let me recommend. But the following. that's an ally money. That's not hate money. <laughs> the uh, opposite of hate money. <laughs> that's true. Order yourself a dumpster, and put a big old sign that says "Moving Soon," then throw whatever you want in it, and then keep on paying for it to be there, and and make it inconvenient for everyone. And then be all like, whoopsie doodle. This is very much a Brian Brushwood solution. I don't know what you're talking about. So you want to punish all of his neighbors, but not the government? I mean, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, There's only one way to erode the feel. fundamental trust that holds the government up. And that is to make a, a, a nuisance so loud that we totally unravel the fabric of society. I mean, look, I'm on your side for all of this. Like, I want mass chaos in your beautiful Disneyland-esque community. I, I want just, you to fuck I, shit up. I mean, like, I put uh, a big old anarchy. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Here, the, honest, honest Here's question. anarchy bin. Fuck, fuck the man. Put this shit in here. Uh, Printers, love them. And, and put googly eyes on it. Like, um, nom, nom. In fact, uh, put solenoids. So it just metallically going, dang, 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 at all times. Does anybody know exactly what should and shouldn't go in the goddamn recycling bin? No, not even the people so who nobody do the knows. recycling. The, the internet does if you would like you to, have to know go to the, the website. You have to go to the website. The website says it, yeah. Oh, okay. The, the website that we all go to all the time. I, I googled Austin Recycling and this was the first fucking website that popped up. Keep well, yeah, but how would I even know to go there when normally everything winds up getting taken? How would you know and to Google way, for information that you need? Well, but, but how would I know that I should Google for that information? Yeah. 
I don't know why you're taking on Bryce this month. (laughs) I'm out of money. (laughs) Yeah, you're right. right. You're like, I had starch shirts. I had toilets. Yeah, I don't know. I had two by fours. I need need, need to stop arguing with Bryce unless he gives me his Venmo. (laughs) (laughs) What's our next topic? Invasion proof. Do you know something that's really special about the United States? What's that? Is that it's invasion proof? That's that's kind of true. We we on the one hand, like we have, oh, oh, I don't know, the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean on the other side, and we have uh, a whipping boy Canada up north, and we have. We're gonna stop talking. Move on. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I'm gonna play you a clip here. This is from a creator on TikTok named Emily Cash, I believe, and she's gonna explain why the Eastern Seaboard. Uh, is so invasion proof. Let's just uh, stick around for this. There's a geographical feature in the United States that I believe would be a full stop for any invasion. It goes from the bottom of the East Coast all the way to the top, and we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to Why You Can't Invade the U.S. State by State. But we're not talking about a state. We're talking about these. Welcome to the Appalachian Mountains. As I mentioned in my last video, these mountains are old. I think I said 65 in my last video. I don't know where that number came from. They are 480 million years old. They started forming on Pangaea. There are... Okay, now, just really quickly. This seems normal. And what what it's worth, accurate. Uh, uh, so the Appalachian Mountain, Mountains are, are uh, rounded. Before, hold on. Be- before we get to the substance of what this young woman was talking about, let's explain to everybody that is only listening. This is a very typical TikTok video where the cropped host is being superimposed cropped. on top. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it, it's very... It's very Severely, severely yeah. cropped, right? I thought you meant crop top. That's fine. Okay. Uh, uh, on top of a picture, and uh, I, I was wondering, my first thought is, are, how far are we away from that format being visually the way you immediately tell an audience whoever is talking doesn't know what the fuck they're saying? <laughs> you're, you're talking about State of the Union. Like next year, suddenly it's a green screen. <laughs> it's just yeah, just Biden, yeah. just Biden, like superimposed. <laughs> He's like, hey, oh, what's boys. up, friends? It's me, Byron. <laughs> Byron. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay. Well, let's uh, keep listening to, to Miss Cash here. There are caves in the mountains that have no fossils in them because there was nothing there to fossilize because the mountains formed before vertebrates did. So the reason these guys are so much smaller than these guys is because they're already millions of years into the erosion process. And being that old, they have a rich history. Like I said, there's things in them hills. There are actually pause, pause, theories- pause, 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 pause. Uh, Before we go farther, uh, I think part of whatever is about to happen, and I have no idea what's about to happen, but I think part of what is amazing is that she's like 98% right so yeah. far. The yeah. reason they're, like, they, like, at one point, the Appalachians were taller than the Himalayas when they crashed in, and then they yep. eroded down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she is, uh, everything right now, Far as we know, so here far, in this room, facts, yeah, straight facts. All right, this motherfucker spitting. That this mountain range and the things that live in it are the reason that colonizers would take Native Americans and use them as guides for the land because they knew the land and they knew the mountains and they knew what was in the mountains. Okay, so now okay. we have All now right. we have <laughs> set up three times that something is in the mountains. Brian, take a guess. What do you think this young woman is going to tell us is in the mountain? Oh, fuck. How, how did Rod Serling begin every uh, Twilight Zone? Uh, Imagine guess. if you will. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Himalayas. Nope. But shorter, rounder. Also in America. Shit lives in them. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that the classic opening? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Dead yeah. On. You nailed it. Dead on. All right. Let's find out what lives in them hills. Now, if you've ever been on the Appalachia side of TikTok, you know the rules. If you hear your name in the forest, no, you didn't. If you see something in the forest, no, you didn't. If you hear a baby crying at night, no, you didn't. But you might not know why. Because the place is crawling with cryptids. Now, you might have heard me use that term before. So if you don't know what a cryptid is, it's a being or an animal that cryptozoologists believe may exist somewhere in the wild. Cryptozoology is not currently recognized by science. It's considered a pseudoscience. (laughs) But when all these people over this much geographical diversity see the same thing, Report the same thing, they might be on to something. There yeah, are hundreds of It's a of pig in a Nixon mask. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> uh, thank you to Emily Cash for that one. Uh, okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. So, so the rest of it is just that? Like, you go into what, what cryptids? It's like, hey, if, if, if oh. the British tried to invade, the Mothman would come out. And if, if it were the Germans, then the melon heads would roll their way down. <laughs> well, let, let's see. I think she mostly talks about the, si the Sing Squatch. Let's see. Turkey Death Cat, the Wampus Beast, the Smoke Wolf. And flesh pedestrians. I refuse what? to say the actual name. No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, go back, go back. I need that. I need that. Ten seconds looped at least three times. There are hundreds of reports of things like Bigfoot, Mothman, Wolfman, Grimm's, the Cherokee Death Cat, the Wampus Beast, the Smoke Wolf, and flesh pedestrians. Pause, pause. Cryptids or this year's Coachella? <laughs> Because I really enjoyed the Flesh Pedestrians' first two albums, but I really think that they fell off. Also, uh, real quick, do you hear that Taylor was dating the lead singer of the Flesh Pedestrians? <laughs> I also love the fact that she's uh, uh, cropped in front of a map. That map, it's like, oh, let's imagine that somebody did try to invade. What possibly could they take besides Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, <laughs> New York, New Jersey? Uh, uh, the majority of, of the population of the United States. <laughs> yeah, like what? Uh, one half of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you to Emily Cash for that clip. You know what? I, I, prove her wrong. Prove her wrong. Prove her wrong. Yeah. yeah. You know what? We Can't, should we, we should invade the East Coast. We should. But we should trick her by going from the West to the East. Mm -hmm. See that coming. But then we or won't be able to take, get New York. Or, or just Maine. take 95. <laughs> <laughs> go to Pretty South, much just, go to south of the border. Fuck it. Fuck buy it all up. fireworks. Yeah. Up we go. Yeah. Huh? Bryce, topic. Topic. Very relate double. <laughs> When we last left our hero, Brian Brushwood had purchased not one but two Vesta boards. Don't look it up. Uh, and either of them had showed up because they had allegedly been delivered to the wrong place and you were in communication with Vesta board. Vesta board was talking to FedEx, but you were bereft of what you had spent all that money on. I walk into the studio today. I hear the trademark click, 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 clack, 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 clack of a Vesta board. I look up and I see one. Take us from there to here. Uh, dude, basically, it arrived uh, two days ago. Uh, uh, the first one did. And the second one, they're going to refund me in the short term because I'm going to buy a white one, which is coming back and is available for pre-order. So I was thinking that we'll have the black one in the kitchen for right now. And then, oh, my gosh. <laughs> We have we have live footage <laughs> of a quote from Justin, uh, but uh, uh, we'll put we'll put a white one there in the kitchen. And I was thinking the black one could be here. We could do one of those like super shout things where if people pay money, oh they yeah, can no, that'd the be show. great. Yeah, and then we'll hear the flappity flappity flappity. We'll be like ah, and then all the audio people will hate it, and we'll yeah. make a lot of money. It'll be good. Oh fuck yeah! Anyway, I'm, I'm, so 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 how did you work it out with them? Uh, I I mean I basically waited uh it, it wasn't their fault and and it's 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 a bummer and hank is a champion and vestibule is hank? cool he's the king of logistics i believe it said on the gotcha. website i i believe it said lord imperator of logistica a subdomain of the wholly owned subsidiary of vestibule good Inc. to see you got a gig after larry's show hank hank Oh, God damn it. Fuck you. All right. Next, next topic. Next topic. <laughs> next topic. God damn it. I hate that I even got that joke. Yeah, <laughs> before the play. Uh, you see this? You hear about this? Diablo? They got the new Diablo game out? Yeah. Yes. Uh, boy, oh boy. I never thought I would see a Blizzard Diablo game uh, popularized by fast food the way we have with KFC. KFC's all in on Diablo? Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> go, go on. The Colonel. Colonel loves him some Diablo. He loves some Diablo. Yeah. Uh, was... Tag me in. Tag me in. If hey, need. Price, what's up? So so KFC was doing like a, a digital thing. You had to pre... If you pre-order, if you bought a double down on their app, they would give you a code for like a Diablo skin. This was... Um, uh, that's for mere mortal gamers, though. No, the the real gamers want to play Diablo Four on their Mac. What? 
and no one has uh, has a message for that for Activision Blizzard louder than this woman. Uh, will it play? Oh my god, did I click it and it's not even gonna fucking play? Great. Here we go. Oh, here. Flappity, 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 flappity. Uh, audio. In the oh come on, play. Oh, oh no. no, no. Oh no, no. I, actually, we have live audio right now. Uh, 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 we're going right now to the live audio. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, well, people I'm with. Not... Okay. So you... Oh no, please. With JSK, <laughs> you gotta listen to me because I'm, I'm. <laughs> It's me, Colonel Parker. And you know that I like that Diablo 4, but I also like the double down. So you should give me the double down and the skin. I'm also Guinan. So there. Did you say I'm also Guinan? Yes. Okay, I believe I got it working here. Let's listen to this. Maybe Brett was close. We don't know. We don't know. Maybe Brett was very close. Swear to God, how great would that be? Yeah? If it was actually Guinan? <laughs> uh, Alright, here we go. Hey, y'all. I know there's a lot of terrible things happening. Oh, my God! <laughs> Alright, for, for audio listeners, it's Whoopi Goldberg, and she's in her walk-in closet with roughly a quarter million dollars worth of shoes behind her. This is me fetching about my favorite game, Diablo, which has been taken off of Apple. I use Apple uh, computers. That's what I always used to play Diablo. It's my favorite gaming system. I like doing it on my computer. And suddenly now Diablo 4 is not available to me on, uh, on my Apple computer. And I already bought Diablo 4. So this is what I'm asking you, oh, Blizzard. No, Blizzard Entertainment, this is Whoopi. You know how much I love Diablo. I would like y'all to let those of us who use our apples to play, allow us to, to play on the apple. Take Diablo 4 and let us do it and, and have a great time. When you do the next launch, then you can say to everybody, we're not going to have you uh, playing if you are uh, an Apple person who is not going to change to something else. Oh. So give me my Apple 4 because I paid for it. I was all excited for it. I went to play on it. And I'm telling you, this really pissed me off. <laughs> she can't even keep her character. <laughs> She's, next up, Joe Biden was like, like, "Hey man, I love I love Diablo." Wait a minute, no, th but this is for real, right? This is a real video that was actually posted. I believe it's a real video. I do not believe for once, like she couldn't keep character through the entire thing, talking about how much she loved Diablo. Uh, what does she play? The the uh, oh, warrior, fake, fake, fake gamer, fake gamer, fake gamer. Yeah. Wait. So you're you are calling? You saw that video? Yes. And because you are not fooled you are saying that this is promotion or this is a prank why else would Whoopi goldberg enter into the realm of gaming videos to discuss the cross-platform playability of diablo exhibit a my friend okay the fact that we're talking about it on this show right now uh, but that's Everything. That's me. That's yeah. Fine. Okay. All right. Uh, exhibit B. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, no, no, no. Because uh, on that, we're also promoting West Virginia tourism by that uh, <laughs> cryptid lady. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> Sustained. <laughs> uh, also, like, uh, I, 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 it's an uphill battle to convince me that Wolfie Goldberg loves Diablo and specifically loves it on an Apple computer and wants to spontaneously talk about all this. If she wanted to prove these things to me, she might, I don't know, make literally any Diablo specific reference like friends stay a while and listen or or, or, or talk about what her favorite <laughs> class is or any of that stuff but she didn't do any of that you're stuff. literally in saying fact, she's a fake gamer girl in, in in fact she just keeps bursting out laughing every time she starts to say the phrase I love Diablo she can't finish the sentence so what is so you believe she's being paid by Activision Blizzard to I, stir up no, I, I I don't know about being paid. I believe somebody said, "Hey, just do this." This would be viral content. 
Yes. Right now, I'm, I'm scanning the, 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 the trending topics. Or do this for me. Diablo or, or maybe is, her friend is, is like, wait, wait, why are you upset? They're like, I'm a crying because... What's that? <laughs> Mario? What's yes. That? I'm a crying because I have a it's Nintendo a Switch. It's a me. I would be Goldberg. <laughs> I, only, I only have a I'm Nintendo Switch. I'm so sorry. Switch. My ex-boyfriend <laughs> that danced and did in a black face. Oh, no. <laughs> but no, 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 no. Uh, I only have a one a computer. It's an Apple computer, and I can't play the Diablo. And she's like, "Don't worry about it, Mario. You're gonna become a <laughs> associate producer someday." And then she goes. Can we, back can we, we can it. get to the bottom of this tonight, right? Like, like that 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 Whoopi Goldberg has some kind of past as as a Diablo fan. Like, has she ever been at uh, BlizzCon or anything like that? Like, that would be the way. I I, I know because like, Blizzard would almost assuredly, if she was a Diablo fan, they would pay her as a celebrity to be I, there. I do not suspect that she's been paid money. I do believe that this is this reeks of favor a to a personal friend. favor yeah. from somebody where? I, I, I don't know. Like Anybody in this room, if they were really upset that, that Diablo went away from an Apple computer, I, I'd record the same thing. Only well, I, I, I wouldn't think, break character part, while I said that I love Diablo. Part of the suspicious element of it, and this is only guessing, because I don't know shit about ass here, uh, is that Diablo is probably Ooh. never first available on Mac. That usually it is almost probably exclusively I, PC. I believe Diablo 3 was a simultaneous release, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Apparently Diablo 4 is the only one that has not had a Mac port uh, at the moment. So it Should is we, true that they don't have we it. text Scott Johnson? Would Scott Johnson I also, know? We I, just call him. I, I did find one other thing uh, from our friends over at Kotaku. Uh, this was back in 2013. Um, there's not much to it. The video asset is gone, but it's a headline titled Why Whoopi Goldberg Prefers Diablo to Grand Theft Auto. That's 2013. That's 2013. Yeah, no, we've all evolved since then. All right. Well, call Scott Johnson. There we go. All right, now we're talking. Hey, you have ruined this me, Scott Johnson. <laughs> awesome. Yeah? Hey, Scott, have you heard of this, word, this Whoopi thing? Yeah. Let's just see. Ah, oh. all right. I guess uh, I guess I got unfriended. Oh, you! All right, that's <laughs> now. Now you're stirring them up. <laughs> now Whoopi Goldberg is gonna say my favorite, and she bursts out laughing. My favorite podcast, unfriend me. Uh, uh, so, are you swayed now that, that there's some kind of digital paper trail that uh, that Whoopi Goldberg knows about Diablo? This, uh, I, I believe she has maybe played it at some point, but the fact that she keeps bursting out laughing makes me feel like this was a favor to a friend and nothing more. Not fooled. Still not fooled. Uh, you still feel I like everyone I else is fooled don't by believe, taking it seriously. I definitely don't believe that she was so upset that she needed to That she take wanted to, to make airways. a video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Am I alone on this, Bryce? Brett? I think it's, uh, I think it's real. This is, this is what gamers sound like. Brett? I think I'm very happy that I got very close to what she said. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. But, but are, are you on Team Bry or, or, or Team Jerbs here? On like, do you take Whoopi seriously? Oh, I'm above all of this. I'm oh, like, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wise it. here. This motherfucker's yeah, wise no, over here. Right, all, all right, right. Bryce. What else we got? <laughs> I think that's all of our topics. And that means we have to remind you that uh, what was once the exclusive domain of Brian Brushwood, the Patreon episodes are available only to Patreon subscribers at patreon.com slash great night. Again, that is patreon.com slash great night. I'm glad you brought that up, man, because a lot of people, I mean, they don't know what they're missing on the bones. The bones are very, very good. I think we should free the bones. I think we should whip them out. Let's whip out the bones. You definitely just splash something on my foot. Yeah. <laughs> Hop water. Let's whip out them bones. Let's put them in the main feed. Do you, do you, but do you, only you, half of them and then fade them out gently. Just let, let, let people see how good they are and then take it away. And then we'll see how many people show up to patreon.com slash great night. Sign up for the RSS feed where they get everything because all these other motherfuckers are freeloading. You ever so notice? We, so how, we want, how, we, many ads, how many ads do we have on this show? How many ads? Zero. Yeah. Zero okay. ads. How many ads do we have last year? Zero. Year before that? Zero. Year before that? Uh, uh, zero. 
We've been doing this a, wh- a while, yeah. You're before that. I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to wait until we get into twit territory. So. One of these years is going to have some. You got have seven more to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Year before that. Look, I'm saying, man. Look, it's great that you've been preloading. We're all about preloading. Yeah. Congrats, you did it. Now it's time to pay the dollar seventy five so, cover so, charge. So, so we're gonna we're gonna really teach them a lesson by giving, by giving them, them the, the bones for free. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna hate it. They're going to hate it. All right. It's the worst thing we could possibly do. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Before we start doing half episodes, do we do free HBO month and just give them what the, the Patreon subscription normally is? Let them get used to it. Let them get used to knowing what two episodes a, a, a week is and then take it all away from That's them. cruel. That's not cool. That's mean. So we should tease them for 30 minutes and then fading out humanitarian. Right. Or giving them, you know what? Four actually, weeks let's, of let, let's, actual let's episodes do a poll. and then taking it away. Let's, let's do an official poll. Okay. Write us at, and, and, and we will, and we will abide by it. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a choice. Either you're going to get a full month of everything for free. And then we're going to take half of it away or uh-huh. we could start giving you half of it for free and then take it away on an ongoing basis. On an ongoing, <laughs> repeating basis. <laughs> That's okay, okay. Take your pick. Miss okay. Me. Where are we directing people? Oh, I think we all know. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you leave us a comment on Patreon? Patreon.com <laughs> slash great night. Ramshackle bullshit. Trying to, you know, this we is the sales. We can't even port. do a Twitter poll. We can't even. Uh, I mean, we. I think we all know where we're gonna hash this out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty clear. <laughs> all right, no bullshit. The only time we have this discussion is on the show. <laughs> we have so much time before the show. After the show, before the bones, during the bones. <laughs> during the bones has come up a like, lot, too. After the bones. <laughs> we could talk about it for content. We could talk about it during our production meetings. We never talk about it except for right now. And I tried to outsource a decision to the audience. And I'm like, where should we go to do it? And you're like, no, I, 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 I mean, because we, are, we all know. We all know. We all know what? Where to go? That Whoopi's a Diablo fan? We all know Whoopi Diablo. <laughs> uh, look, I, I, I do not trust myself to say I feel any like Whoopi, link, wh- any platform, any place. Whoopi Diablo, I think, won last year's drag race. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you leave us a comment on Patreon? Patreon. There we go. Dot com slash great night. That's a fantastic way to let there us know how you feel all about this great show that is perfect and professional. All right. Hey, Bryce, do we have a game? We do have a game. Hello, everybody. This is a brand new game I'm calling The Sound Whisperer. You know what? Oh. I, I don't want to poop on your bit. Go ahead. So I have uh, uh, scoured uh, the 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 likes of TikTok. You know, the thing on TikTok is uh, is all the sounds, right? You take someone's sound and then you put your own video to it, and uh, it's like a meme. It's like an audio meme. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a hey, thing. I, I can give you an example, Brian. So I've been playing a lot of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Which means whenever you talk to people, they don't actually talk; they just make sounds and then they like, like similish like, uh no well it, it's it's just that like oh 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 See, oh I, oh oh See, oh I, oh <laughs> I, oh See, I, 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 oh oh <laughs> I was. Oh! <laughs> this comedy podcast has two hosts who won't stop. <laughs> Neither one of them lets the other one talk. Just say. Even when the other one tries to talk, they continue with the bit. <laughs> Go on. For more, subscribe.
I was going to And also like. And don't forget. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Needed to be done. There you go. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> So I'm going to play you a clip from TikTok that is uh, uh, maybe the original source of the sound or it may be a video that uses the sound. I'm going to ask you to tell me how many other people have made posts with that sound. So it's a number. Uh, how many people have used that sound for other things? Uh, and and uh, we'll, we'll just go through. It'll be pretty easy. Um, you guys use TikTok, yeah? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big fan. <laughs> uh, Brett, would you, uh, would you like to play? Oh, no. Would you mind keeping score then? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you so much. All right. Okay, well, uh, it, it, this will be super easy. So I'll play a clip. You guys are going to give me a number uh, for how popular it is. Okay, easy? Yeah. Ready. Okay. Uh, our first clip uh, I've entitled, bum, 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 How Will You Live Life? Uh, this is a clip here. This is a sound from Angel XOXO TV. What do you think? Uh, uh, what do you think? This this could be. How will you live life? Oh, we don't even get to hear it. Oh, uh, well, you'll hear it, but I just kind of want to do a little th bit. This is uh, the uh, original uh, that we're about to see? No. No, oh. this is one of the clips that has used this audio. Right, right. And we have to figure out we have how, to many guess how many more. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Oh, uh, uh, I, I think it's probably like, like a motivational or, or, or an aspirational kind of thing. I feel like it's uh, something that was intended as something silly from a video game, but people were acting as though is motivational. Uh, so, so, so the a, inverse of what you're saying. A serious thing taken ironically or, or an ironic thing taken seriously. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Uh, great. Well, that's just to get us a little set up here. Let's listen to uh, this clip. The subtitle says, this audio changed my life. Do you just want to live your life being a girl that poops or you want to live your life being a bitch that shit? <laughs> uh, so the question to the to the to the panel one hundred thousand. So yeah. So instead of either of what we said, it's just some sloppy East Village shit. Like <laughs> also not wrong. I mean that's legit life advice right yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Girl who poops or a bitch who shit. Yeah. You got. You uh, gotta have. You gotta have the the real sound at the end. There. So are. So so are. Are there any like. Uh, uh, what is the metric by which we are. Numbers. We are guessing. Yeah. Numbers. So you're Arabic gonna be guessing uh, the number of posts that have also used that sound. Uh, in, people in taking it. Yeah. For example, the clip that we saw was a uh, uh, someone using. That's not the original. Using clip. using that sound. Okay. So we're looking for a number here. How popular? Uh, I I believe it's been used in. 2,500 TikToks. 2,500, 2,500. I'll take the over. I'm going to say, as the Romans would, M, M, M. It's 3,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. <laughs> All right. There we go. We got your answers here. We were looking for... Bum, bum, bum. We were looking... Oh, where's my thing? I think we were looking for 6,062 oh. times. That's a Brian Sorry. boy. M, 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 M. There we go. Easy, right? Now we get now we get what we're doing. Yeah. Yes. Do I get a point? I get a point. Yes. It. Yeah, flip it. You got a I point. Yeah, 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 there we go. All right. <laughs> All right. See? Easy, easy, peasy. Uh, this one. Okay, we'll go next to your hashtag ASMR from uh, Lilo or Lilo. Lilo. How do you how do you think you pronounce that? It's a name. L I L O. Lilo. That's got to be L Lilo. Yeah. Yeah, because it looks like Brillo. Oh yeah. Okay. Here we go. This is comedy gold in the making. Yeah. Like anybody who wants to be a low budget Tim Tim Robinson is going to be able to use this audio. Uh, 
I, I put its success in the hundreds. So this is just a series of various different glass jars and bottles rolling down stairs, and some of them concrete break, stairs, yeah, and some of them don't, yeah. And he kind of shows the glad the, the bottle sometimes. Oh, is this one gonna break? It is oh. hypnotic, right? I think that the the part where he cuts to himself and then zooms the in and out <laughs> like like it's a 1990s wacky sketch. I don't know. I, I I do think that this this has like legs as viral content because you can have people say like, oh, buy a really expensive bottle of something and roll it down the stairs. Uh, like, you know what? Maybe we can uh, explain to everybody. Uh, oh, uh, unfortunately, we don't have any closed beverage. Oh, there's one closed beverage here. Uh, uh, Bryce, will you play the audio as as Justin and I react to uh, if we were to use it in a TikTok? Sure. Uh, let me click this here. Boop, boop, boop. Ready, ready, ready. Wait, wait. Okay. You ready? Yeah, here right? we go. All right, here we go. And play and... <laughs> this is what I like to call oh. fuck you, audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's really exploring the space there. All right, so we got our <laughs> clips here. This is from uh, uh, Lilo Allen Carr. Thank you, Lilo, for the clip here. How many times do you think that this sound has been posted to other videos? We're going to start with just, I know we'll start with Brian on this one. 75. 75, all right. Total. Not 7,500, 75 total. You heard me. Justin? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say 150. Whoa. How do you feel about that 150 guess, Brian? Uh, you feel secure? A little, little bit cucked. Not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because your... I do think it's low, but I don't think it's that low. <laughs> I do think it's in, it's in the low hundreds. It's average. Yeah. You've got your, your answers here. Brian said 75. Justin said 150. We were looking for 219. That's ah! a Justin point. Easy. Easy peasy. That was earned. That was earned. All right. I really wish that I could just tip over a beverage and have it play again. Clank, 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 clank. Okay, here is the next one. Uh, we're going to call this one Nuh uh. Nuh uh. uh this is from uh, ICE on TikTok. Thank you for the sound. Here it yeah. is. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, come on. Come on, we got to hit unmute. Signs that you are not straight. Number one. You like boys. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's only like for fifty percent of the population, though. Huh? Women. Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Well, if we're not going to assume that there's a pre-qualifying element to that. <laughs> uh. All right, we're gonna start with Brian on this one, Brian. So, yeah. so what we are only looking at the nah -uh or the question beforehand, huh? Uh, the whole audio, the whole sound, the, 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 whole, the whole sound, sound. Yeah. the whole, whole sound. sound. Of so, yeah. so, my guess is a lot of people. The fact that we saw a react video makes me think that a lot of people are reacting to this. Take the although that, that feels that you're like the straight. original video, and then other people use that sound. Yeah, it, uh, I'm gonna say it's June, and I'm gonna say thirty thousand. 30,000 clips. Ooh. Justin? Ooh. Fuck. I don't have any more fucking money. Clink, 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 clink. I have to go. I think I have to go. Clink, clink, I have to go. 130,000. Bigot. <laughs> and that's true. Brian is technically bigoted for that answer. <laughs> no, we were God, damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Pony up. <laughs> All right, we got your answers here. Justin said 130,000. Brian said 30,000. We were looking for 781. Oh, That's a Brian TikTok boy. TikTok is bigoted. Now TikTok's God, bigoted. I can't wait till July. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, what's their score after three rounds? Am I right? Am I right? Uh, uh, yeah, you you're right. are. All right. Okay, so as it clearly says, and the people in the audience have been looking at it wrong, for... <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry. For Brian, he has two points. Yes. For Justin, he only has one point. Ooh. One's all you need. You know who else had one point? All you need is one. Although he's three. He was kind of three. Know, three of them had one. Yeah. The yeah. original threesome. The original score. Three to three to one. Yeah. Bryce? <laughs> 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 okay, uh, let's go to this next one here, uh, which we're entitling Turn on the TV. Make sure you turn on that TV. Here's a clip. Uh, this is from C. Louie on TikTok. Thank you, C. Louie. Lyle, Lyle, wake up. You gotta wake up, please. Lyle, Lyle, turn on the TV. They hit the Pentagon. They hit the fucking Pentagon. <laughs> what? That seemed like a Can 9 you please? No, 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 no. Uh, uh, just zoom in very close on Brian's face and play that again. Wake up! You gotta wake up, please! Lyle, Lyle, turn on the TV! They hit the Pentagon! They hit the fucking Pentagon! <laughs> what do you think? Uh, 910? 913? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Which side are you on? Somewhere in the middle, maybe? What the difference? Yeah. Seven. I'll give you two guesses. Seven. And a mystery on seven. <laughs> He's going to say seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seven. 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 <laughs> you really believe it? I mean, it's <laughs> unclear. Check the internet, bro. <laughs> Justin, what about you? How many, of how many times do you think this sound has been used on TikTok? Uh, uh, I don't <laughs> believe it's really popular. <laughs> I believe that uh, uh, it has been used uh, uh, more or less than seven, 15 times. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. We've got your answers here. Brian said seven. Justin said 15. We were looking for 10,000 times. Oh, God. <laughs> That's a Justin boy. <laughs> No, there is there is this whole phenomenon with Zoomers being obsessed with 9-11. Because, because they don't understand. Because it's super like, fucked up. Yes, like, it is. It's a crazy thing. Like, all of a sudden, you just get uh, uh, like to a certain age where you understand what the fuck is happening. You're like, wait, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Captain Boomer, the chat. This is how Americans heal. Yep. Uh, <laughs> all of that is true. All right. Uh, let's jump into our next one, why don't we? Ready. Uh, this if called... Zoomers are obsessed with 9-11, why aren't we the biggest show <laughs> in, a, in a younger demo? Like We, we, we'll we need to there. be advertising we'll to a younger demo. If they're into 9-11 jokes, boy, have we been doing them for years. <laughs> That's true. All right, we're going to go to our next one here. Life is a highway. So fun. Uh, we're going to play this clip here. This is from Berticus on TikTok. Thank you, Berticus, for the clip. Life is a highway. <laughs> I don't want to live in a world where this doesn't have at least 10,000 re <laughs> reuses. Can we listen to it one more time? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, uh, audio listeners, <laughs> we're seeing somebody playing Trucker Simulator, uh, mm -hmm. and, and it's and exactly is, what you think. Yeah, yeah. It's exactly a cute young what you girl yeah. <laughs> driving a truck. <laughs> That's too good. That's too good. <laughs> Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. <laughs> we can come back. <laughs> oh, fuck. One more time, Bryce. One, one more, more time. time. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> one more time. This is a clue. <laughs> Yeah, we can come back from this. <laughs> <laughs> Just I really think the thing that I love the most about it is how seamlessly the beginning of I for I want to drive it all night long <laughs> turns into the scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Justin. We're going to start with you on this one. A million. <laughs> <laughs> 10,000 to 1 million. I think we got the spread covered. A million. I think a million. <laughs> and if it's any less than 
Fuck America. One, Reboot one, it. One more time, Bryce. Well, okay, it's just, you know, it's Bro. a highway, really. We got <sighs> Life is a highway. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. All right, we were looking for the nose pit. 98. What? what? Oh my god! Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Text it to me. I gotta tweet this out right now. This is the most amazing thing ever. This, this is, is the funniest shit ever. There we go. Uh, oh. It's in our chat here. Thank you to Berticus for that one. Oh. Ninety-eight. Uh, that's such a good clip. It should be bigger. <laughs> Send our clip to Berticus. We need to get our Twitch clip to Berticus <laughs> yeah. immediately. Oh. She needs to understand. This is one of the funniest things that's ever happened on the internet. That was a Brian point. That was a Brian point. Yeah, I went a million. Yeah. Yeah, Berticus, yeah. I'm on your side. By the way, I, I thought it was a million. You, you were, you this were, fucker was shortchanging you. you. You were really feeling it. You were all like, "Life is the highway." <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right, oh. somebody posted in the chat so I could read. I did. It. Oh, so good. Oh, okay. Ah, oh. oh, good one. All right, that's a so, Brian point. So good. <laughs> By tomorrow, it'll be a million. Uh, that's right. All right, our next one is going to be entitled, How Do You Even? How do you even do it? How even do you do it? Let's take a listen here. Oh, got your butthole. How do you even <laughs> grab a butthole? I don't know, but I got yours. So come on down to Target and get 5% off with the red card or something. <laughs> that That's not the original, is it? Yeah. No, I think that's a dub. Yeah. Uh, Bryce? It is. Is the original? It is. It's TikTok's got those voice filters, and that's oh, one of the voice filters. Gotcha. Oh. You do it, it makes you sound like a Target, uh, Target voiceover lady. Oh. So the question we're gonna start with Does Justin. It throw on the... the music under there too. Yeah, they put some like jingle music yeah, under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, Justin, you're gonna guess first on this one. How many times do you think the sound was used? Um. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That <laughs> life is a highway. <laughs> Them Twitter bottles. <sighs> um, I think that that's been used four hundred and twenty times. <laughs> four hundred and twenty times, yeah. he says. I think four hundred and twenty. Right. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. You think lower than that? One dollar. This is the kind of shit that that TikTok loves, though. Buttholes, Target. I know it's I know. the whole demo. <laughs> I'm, I'm being consistent. I can't possibly vote uh, like uh, one dollar. Yeah. All right. There we go. $1. You're up, though. You don't have to game theory me now. I know. That means I believe it. No, you you're game theory. No. Life's a highway, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got your answers here. Justin said 420. Yep. Brian said one. We were looking for 23,000. Hey! That's a Justin Poy. Tricked me. There you go. Brett, going into our final round, what is the score? We have a score that's all tied up at <gasps> three. What's going to happen next? We do not know. Indeed, we don't know. How would you describe life? <laughs> I would describe it, Justin, as life is a. I saw that one too. Yep. <laughs> so good. So fucking good. Yep. What's your name, Bert Bertrands? Uh, Bert Berticus. 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 I am Berticus. <laughs> That's right. From Louisiana. I think, Berticus, I think I, baby. I think I Follow Berticus. That's right. Uh, okay, so for our last one here, this one is for ten points. Ooh! So it's still anybody's game. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this clip here, and you're gonna tell me how popular you think it is. Before we start it, what are we looking at? <laughs> <laughs> that is a alien playing Jeopardy with uh, the answer of or the name of Nuh uh. All right. Well, let's take a listen. She's stroking me off till I beef. She beefing on my strogan off. She strogan my beef till him off. Uh, her beef got me strogan off. She strogan off my beef. She gan off my strog like a beef. 
She see me strogan off, so we got beef. <clears throat> she beefing with me till I'm strogan off. <laughs> The beef stroganoff uh, Elder Scrolls bit. Uh, we're gonna get this a is, number. This from is me. another one of those like weird wordplay, like like you're telling me a shrimp fry this rice kind of bits. Like these are these are hot with the kids. Yeah, and unfortunately, there's not enough context clues that I'm aware of to know whether or not this is like a sub community, like a you know like a Rooster Teeth or an Auntie Donna thing or something, where it's like their fan community is going nuts over it. No, but I think this is it, this is like. You know, like, like just, there's like weird, there's, there's, there's weird Twitter, yeah. there's like weird TikTok. Like, yeah. I think that's that's very much in in that milieu. Yeah, but it depends on how many of them they are. Yeah, I'm how gonna many, go. How, how, how many followers does Drill have? Is that who this is? No. Oh. <laughs> are you trying to anchor like a no 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 that that's the high water mark for like public acceptance of weird Twitter? So yeah. Um, uh, oh crap! Uh, let me let me see. She's stroking 000. me off till I beef. You know what? Let me revise. She's beefing on my stroking okay, off. Okay, hold on. Let me. Re- okay. She's stroking my beef till him off. Maybe lower. Uh, her beef got me stroking off. Maybe higher. She's stroking off my beef. Okay. She gan off my strog like a beef. Closer. Yep, I'm almost there. She see me stroking off, so we got beef. There we go. <laughs> She's beefing with me till I'm stroking off. Sixty-nine thousand six hundred and ninety-six point nine. Okay. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine hundred. Thousand. Sixty-nine thousand six hundred ninety-six point nine six nine. Okay, great. Justin. One dollar. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> they're going for different. They're going for different stratagems. I yeah. respect it. I respect it. No, you tried to fuck me on that last one. So guess what, yeah. buddy? Where do I? Where are we? Hey, pal. We got beef to stroke it up. <laughs> okay. That's, that's violation of terms of service. <laughs> uh, this one was from Eli the Cat Toes on TikTok. Thank you for that one. <laughs> this clip has three posts. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Three. <laughs> Do, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Do we get the point for the fact that you announced very confidently three it and is, then no, that, showed it's 16? Three, it's three, yeah, it's no, yeah, it's yeah. And now Bryce has to pitch one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was three. That's a point for Justin and that game. Really There's only two off. Oh, yeah. look at that. Let me fix that. Look at that. That's hey. a fantastic Too one. Too long. Too long. Uh Thank you to me for this game. If you got an idea for a game, send it into our email, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. Thank you. I, I have mad respect for the fact that you were able to bury thank you to me <laughs> in the middle of that. That, that was very pro. That was good. Oh, okay. I feel I feel like I'm cleansed. I feel you're, like you're I'm back. back. Yeah. You, yeah, you, I mean, yeah, you you guys tell me. Uh, you know. Brian. But but I not feel like here, you leave. But you know, you know the place. I'm just saying. In all honesty, yeah, doing this show mm. without you, we're very, very happy that we can do it. We're very happy that we can go ahead and please everybody that comes in and downloads us and watches us live. We've always been there for the community, and that's the reason why shows happen for the last two weeks. But I will say this personally, nothing, honor, is like being up here, hanging out with you, doing this show. I am so excited you're back. In celebration, I'm going to balance this glass of water right here on the edge. I hope it's fine. And in the meantime, I'll say, oh oh dear, I'm afraid I'm going to bump into it. I'm going to raise my my hands up here, and I'm going to form the Diamond Club sign, Uh and I'm going to say, shine on. You crazy diamonds, and I hope nothing goes wrong. <laughs> oh no! It's you didn't have still the fucking a great sound night. God damn it, Bryce! <laughs> I gave you so much fucking time for that. Oh, She's stroking back. me off till I beef. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Rock sounder. Rock sounder. <laughs> what did we learn, Brett? Well, we've learned that uh, we learned a few things, Bryce. We here. learned that say, wait, that I did oh, not know that Brian was such a skeptic. Didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I also learned that uh, because Justin can't hold his temper, Bryce, you're buying the first round tonight. That's right. That's right. And I also learned that saying that I'm above it all 
can be an answer. That's right. Here we go. Love we you already shine on, you crazy diamonds. Bye. I think we already did the <laughs> Bye. We did Wrap the it ending thing already. New bit we do. Play the Life is a Highway Tonight. thing again. <laughs> or something. Broke me off till I beef. You she beefing on my stroganoff. Stroking my beef till I'm off. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>